Hey everyone, Justin and Jesse Klein here. Today we're going to cover preparing your home for sale. Um, really important topic if you are thinking about selling your home. It can be the difference maker between tens of thousands of dollars. Sometimes it can be quite simple. Obviously everyone's home is very different, but the goal is to make your home as marketable to as many people as possible. So we'll kind of go step by step here and uh, go through the slides and kind of just hit the main points of what you want to do to help market your home. Possibly the most important step because it's so easy and you'll get a great return on it is simply just decluttering. So taking down any personal items like pictures, um, clearing your desks, essentially making the home feel as open and as clean and as big as possible. The goal here is just to create a space that potential buyers can imagine themselves in and be creative with. We always like to say, make it look like a hotel. Um, and that might seem like it has no character and no personal touch to it, but unfortunately that's just the way to appeal to the broadest group possible. People always ask if they should be doing renovations and if so, what renovations in general, I like to tell people to keep it simple, especially if this was a family home and you've lived here a long time. Um, you're not probably going to want to rip apart your whole life while you live there and start doing a new kitchen and whatnot just to sell it. And usually that stuff doesn't give you a great return anyways. So three things that we say give you the best return. Number one, buy a long shot paint, pick a modern color and freshen everything up. That really goes a long way and you will absolutely get your five or $10,000 back. And number two is any exterior updates to the property. If it's a detached property, uh, street appeal is huge. It really just starts off the showing great. People feel emotional about the home right off the bat. Um, so touching up landscaping like the garden beds, uh, repainting any trim or replacing any rotten fascia boards, garage door if the garage door is really bad, um, but essentially exterior paint and just touching up the landscaping, make sure, making sure that's all fresh. And then number three is any fixtures in the home. So if you can update any light fixtures would be the first one. Um, that's going to show really well. And then, uh, you know, you can go down, maybe do some plumbing fixtures or some door handles, um, things like that if you want. But the biggest one's really just the light fixtures um, or any curtains as well. Yeah, you kind of want to think about it as maximizing your return on investment, but also effort. You know, if it's going to take you a lot of effort to do a big renovation, you know, there's there's that equation that you kind of got to work out for yourself as well. We've got a quick example here of one of our clients who purchased a home and then made some of these super simple updates. So they purchased this condo here. You can see obviously the pictures aren't great. The realtor didn't market it uh, exceptionally well. And then all they did was simply paint it and put in some new lights fixtures, got some better pictures done. And, you know, it looks 10 times better simply by doing that. The next step is cleaning. And this is absolutely one to spend money on or time if you don't want to do it yourself. Um, but hire someone if you if you don't want to do it yourself, just get someone in there, do a deep clean, spend a thousand dollars and get them to scrub every single inch of that home, make it feel spick and span, spell amazing. Uh, buyers just really, you know, it's a million dollar purchase maybe. And, and they really want to walk in and just feel like everything's fresh and as brand new as possible. And it'll get you tens of thousand dollars back if it doesn't smell weird and doesn't feel dirty and grimy. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know, when we're helping buyers who are looking for a really good deal, we'll say, okay, let's look for the homes that don't look good and are dirty and haven't done these things. And typically you can get them for cheaper. So the, when you're selling your home, you want to do the reverse. You want to get all these things done. You want to make it clean. You know, we've gone into homes multiple times where our clients walk in and it's so dirty. They just walk out right again and they won't even look at it. They won't even consider it because they don't want to go through the go through the showing. And our final point is staging. Uh, people always ask about this and you know, different markets have different practices. If you go somewhere like Toronto or New York or Los Angeles, where the price point's quite high and people charge like five or 6% commission, oftentimes the realtor will pitch in and help with the staging. Uh, but staging can cost, you know, it kind of starts at about $3,000 per month just for a couple of things in the main living areas and maybe the master bedroom. So here in Vancouver, our commissions tend to be quite a bit lower than in other parts like where you see on selling sunset or even toronto um the rates we charge are lower so realtors here typically don't pitch in for the staging um just because our commission could so easily be entirely eaten up by that and there's no guarantees that we even sell the property after and then we might lose ten thousand dollars so it just doesn't make as much sense here given our marketplace um, but some sellers do the staging and they pay for it themselves and we would suggest that if it's the kind of home that would be 
attracting a home buyer, someone who's going to live in it. Um, so it's not a tear down, it's not an investment property, but it's a home buyer and then it's a home and then it's vacant. Um, then it is definitely worth it because when people walk in, funny enough, when people walk into a staged home, it actually feels more open than a vacant home. And you might be surprised by that, but it's just in a vacant home, especially smaller condos or townhouses, they have a hard time picturing how's my furniture going to fit in, fit in here and is this living area too big versus when furniture is already in there and a professional stager has picked the right furniture to fit the area perfectly they go oh wow this is amazing um you know i this is exactly what i want and everything fits so perfect and and then of course they move in and it's vacant on possession day and then they bring their oversized couch in and it's like wait, wait <laughs> but that's just how real estate works so definitely um if you're selling a vacant home to somebody who is going to be living in there if that's the end user then it's worth staging and even if it costs you ten thousand dollars for a few months you will get that money back on your sale price and likely staged homes that are priced well they sell within a couple weeks anyways versus vacant homes can often take a couple months to sell versus staged homes so it is worth it so by now hopefully you kind of have a good idea of what you would need to do for your home to sell it but of course you know, you can have questions about, well, maybe I could do this or what would help improve it. This is why we come into your home, we take a look at it, and we'll also advise you on what we think you should do and what's going to get you the most money out of your home.